This is high impact. Sales and exit strategy. You need to know probably two to three good exit strategies. There's seven or eight out there. You need to know two or three, and you need to know them well. Um, you need to remember this. This is kind of a base rule that when I say this, a lot of people look at me like, what, what are you talking about? There's only three people you can sell a house to. Only three. Um, that is an owner-occupant. That is a landlord investor or a fix and flip investor. That's it. If someone out there finds a fourth person to sell a house to, please let me know because after 21 years, I've not found that fourth person. I was giving this exact presentation in Austin last year. And a uh, young guy in the back of the room raised his hand, says, I got you fourth. I got you fourth. I got you fourth. And I walked up and I said, Talking about a hedge fund, aren't you? He goes, yeah, that's it, hedge fund. I said, it's a landlord. It's just a big landlord, okay, that holds lots of houses, okay? But there's only three, owner-occupant, uh, landlord investor, fix-and-flip investor. Who will pay you the most? The answer is the owner-occupant buyer. They'll pay you the most. Who will pay you second most? It's the landlord investor. And who will pay you the least? And they are a distant third way they can't even see the tail lights of number two they're way behind and that's the other fix and flip so this is not an anti-wholesale presentation so don't get me wrong don't get mad at me but in my career i've learned to sell to owner occupants or landlord investors because i want to make more money so keep that in mind um assignments have their place and and I I I uh, will tell you your when you're assigning uh, contracts uh, you're gonna you're gonna make less money, but but there's a couple of reasons where it, it makes good sense when you absolutely have no liquidity, you have you know small limited funds. I'm not making fun of anybody. I've been there. Okay, I was there one time, and you have zero monies to rehab and zero monies to to carry the the payments to your lender, then maybe you'll sign. And the other one is when the house is so risky, um, uh, the repairs are so big for whatever reason that this is a risky deal, then maybe you look at a signing because you never want to own that house. Let someone else, you just properly disclose and you tell them what you know, but you, you know, it's just too much risk to do. Then, you know, I kind of condone assigning contracts. Otherwise, I don't assign contracts. I close on them. And then I market them. When, you, when you're going through the assignment process, you're limited on who you can sell it to and you're limited on time. When you close on them and then, and then market them for sale, and you still may be marketing to other investors, I'm not saying you close on them and don't market to other investors, but you close on them, then you remove your limits. You can market to the world on time and um, contacts. Okay, think about that.